This is the most ridiculous sequence of moves I've ever seen just to win a single pawn. Fisher was playing with the white pieces and just had the move e4 played against him, so Fisher decides to take the pawn. What's the idea here? The problem is, if they end up taking the rook immediately, now bishop to f4 will end up winning the queen. So of course they can't do that. But what about queen takes g3, trying to trade queens before taking the rook? Well, the answer is we don't actually take their queen. We take the knight instead. And where is this queen going exactly? The problem is no matter where it goes, it will run into either bishop f4 or just being captured by one of the pawns or bishops. For example, queen to d6, bishop to f4, and what you probably should do at this point is play something like bishop e8 and just accept that you're a pawn down and probably going to lose this game because you're playing against Fisher. However, there's also another move we should answer. Because if queen g4, well, we're happy to go down and exchange here because after bishop takes g6, this f6 pawn is way too strong and we'll end up winning the game as well.